and reaction from Bears fans tonight on the passing of Dick Butkus. WGN's Dana Rebick joining us now from Soldier Field with more. Dana. Well, incredibly sad news hitting Bears fans all across the Chicago area tonight. Dick Butkus was just here at Soldier Field less than a month ago for opening day where he was honored at halftime along with other former players uh, recognized for his talents on the field. I came in with my black my black shirt on. I went and transferred like Superman in the bathroom and put on my jersey. And I came out and met this guy. So yeah, I'm, I'm a loyal fan. Bears fans watching the game tonight just learned of the news. Linebacker legend and Hall of Famer Dick Butkus had died. It's really unfortunate. It's just the reality of life. Everyone goes at some point or another. And when someone big and famous like that uh, is no longer here, it really hits. It really sucks, you know meant so much to the organization all these years. So. One of the most beloved players in Bears history, Butkus set the standard as an intimidating tackler, a larger than life leader, tough, smart and fierce. It was more of a, of a mauler. He just mauled people and he played he played the game the way it was meant to be played. He just attacked and it, um, the game has changed with speed and strength nowadays, but he had it back then. A standard other players tried to live up to the ultimate bear who will be remembered as one of the greatest players in NFL history. It's terribly sad, sad, and especially when nobody, it was very unexpected, knowing that he was just at, at the ball game for opening day and, um, and all the all the history that he produced, plus acting. A outside of football, he was still a legend in Chicago. So far, we have not seen any Bears fans coming here on the south side of Soldier Field. Uh, no memorial growing here quite yet, but we did see down at the University of Illinois, Butkus' alma mater, that uh, people are laying flowers at his statue at Smith Center. Live at Soldier Field, Dana Rebick, WGN News.